In this video, we're gonna talk about PEX to copper. Not just PEX, PEX A or PEX B, and how to join it to copper the right way without having any problems. And also, stay till then, I'm gonna tell you why I love SharkBite. So of course, as always, we're starting with safety. You see that I have my eye protection on, I have gloves on. That's the kind of thing you need to think of because you never know when you may hurt yourself. But what I'm trying to do here is protect my hands, protect my eyes, protect my body. Now, I'm gonna clean this and go ahead and solder this on. Y'all can go back and go through all the steps to see how to make a solder joint. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. That way, I can show you what we're gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my adapters and I'm gonna solder them on. Now, this one is actually for Upanor. This one is actually for PEX. Now, the difference is PEX A versus PEX B. PEX A is expandable. PEX B is not expandable. You never want to expand it, and I've seen some plumbers do it. What that'll do, that pops a little more brittle. It doesn't have the elasticity that PEX A does. So if you try to expand it, you're gonna crack it and you're possibly gonna weaken the pipe and cause leaks later. I'm gonna start with PEX A. As you can see, these two adapters go on different ways. One of them actually goes over the pipe. The other one actually goes into a fitting. So you see the outside of it is the same size of the pipe. So what we'll do, we'll end up putting this together both ways. That way we can show you the things to do and do properly. I know you've seen the video, so you know how to solder, so I didn't go through all the steps, but we're gonna let this cool down, and then we're gonna get ready to make an Upanor joint. That part's cool. Now I'm gonna show you how to put this together. First of all, you are gonna love my tool. What we're gonna do, literally, is expand the end of this where it'll fit over this. Now here's what I like about this, and here's what I like about Upanor. I was told before I ever had even tried it that once you expand Upanor, it spends the rest of its life trying to shrink back down to its normal size. That means this joint should never ever leak anyway. So you've got the ring that goes on the end and you feel inside there's a stop here. So literally it goes on just like that and goes all the way on. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your tool Make sure it's completely expanded, and then slide it all the way on. And you're gonna slide it all the way up to where it makes up just like that. Now, like I said a while ago, for the rest of the life of this pipe, it's gonna be trying to shrink back down to its normal size. So this should never, ever leak. Upanor is a PEX Type A. PEX Type A is expandable. 
we expanded it out so it would slide over the fitting. If you look at the fittings, you can see this is bigger. This has the big lip on it. You're not gonna be able to push a normal piece of PEX over this. That's what the expansion is for. You expand it out so it'll go over this without any problem. Now this is a completely different type. This is PEX B. This is the pipe that you put on and you use either the crimp ring or the little ratchet type crimp ring. Now, I like these if you're working up in an attic where possibly the pipe could freeze and expand because the stainless isn't gonna expand near as much as the copper will. And if it does expand due to freezing, what can happen is this ring can stretch back out and that can actually cause this joint to leak later. So, now that I've showed you how to do the Upanor, which I love this, I think this is a great thing. Now now, I'm gonna show you how we do the PEX Type B, the crimp ring. Ready? So as you can see, we've changed it up a little bit. What I have on here is the adapter for SharkBite. So literally, we've got SharkBite pipe and a SharkBite crimping tool. What I like about their crimping tool is good for 3 8 half inch, three quarter, and one inch PEX Type B pipe. So what I'm gonna do, I've already put everything together. The adapter, like I showed you, remember, one adapter like this one goes inside, the adapter that we did on the other end actually goes over the pipe. So this would be for one end of fitting. Now they make those that'll go on either end, but this is what I got just so I could show you both ways. And I did this on the other end, I didn't really show, but I always still make sure my letters line up. And that's just me. I believe if you're gonna do something, take the time, do it right, make it look good, and people will notice. So these have a copper ring on them. And like I said, the stainless ring, if I was working up in an attic or someplace that I would be worried about the pipe freezing, I may want to go to the stainless. And these are a completely different connection type. And I'll do those in another video. But right now, what we're looking at is a copper ring. This is great because again, something else I like about SharkBite, they've actually got a tool with it where you can check right then and determine, did that crimp do like it's supposed to do? So. I'm gonna get my ring right where I want it, open up my tool, slide over it, and I like to, um, again, and will return the way I am, I like to get it dead center of it, get it right where I want, and that's it. Once you get that part done, it's done. Now, this is neat because everything's nice, neat, square, plumb, and true. Pop it open, slide your tool off, and everything's good. And as you can tell by where everything is, I've got that set down below the big lip right on these two rings. I like to pull it up off the bottom a little bit, just that way somebody can look at it and they don't think it's just sitting there. So this is in, it's good and tight. And the one thing that I like about this is you've got a way to test it. One inch go, as you see it slides under, it feels real good. The one inch no go, it won't go on. If this goes on, that tells me I've squeezed it too much, I've messed something up, I've done something wrong. I like this. It's a great way to test the system and you know that it's gonna work. So I'm telling you, I'm an old school plumber, I believe in solder, I think it's a good thing, but I truthfully do think that PEX and Upanor are definitely gonna be great ways to do things. Now I know that we're doing it more and more, new houses are being built. I've actually done a commercial dentist office with Upanor and it actually turned out really, really good. I don't know if PEX or Upanor, either one is any better. I just know that I would not want copper rings up in the attic in case of freezing because I don't want it to expand, I don't want it to break, and I don't want there to be any problems. If you've used Upanor and PEX, let me know what you've used, how you like it, and what have you done. Have you ever tried to expand B? Have you ever tried to crimp A? I think this is gonna be something that's gonna be great for all of us in the future because without a torch and with the right tools, we can do some pretty cool things. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.